so guys these are some of the stuff that I'm starting out on my carnivore diet I'm going to bring it um, to you in detail so for the diet I'm going to need a lot of butter a lot of butter um, I got two pack of the anchor butter but looking looking at it now I'm going to need more than this um, to serve me for the month this is my initial big buy but I know that this meat won't last me um, for the whole month you know but when it comes because I have a small freezer so I couldn't buy everything to hold in it however um, I bought try to buy these stuff that would last me for the month so I bought two anchor butter because the diet requires a lot of butter you know strange it probably might be strange to a lot of you guys but that's what the diet requires a lot of butter and I got half a cheese after no cheese and I'm kind of eat out half it already <laughs> so I'm going to need to get more cheese um, during the course of the month put them on one side I got two tray of eggs to start out um, eggs are crucial because eggs can be used as snack and for the carnivore diet I noticed that a lot of persons would use even up to eight to six eggs per day so I know that these two trays will not do for the month. I'll have to get more, but it's a starter. I am a breakfast person. So I bought sausage. Make sure I buy the, the big pack a sausage, jumbo spicy sausage. I love sausage. And I purchased two pack of the burger. So I got the jerk chicken and I got the seasoned chicken. And that would be like for breakfast. It don't have to be breakfast only. You know, I could use it for lunch as well. I even got um, two packets of chicken nuggets. Love chicken nuggets. And I got some rainforest seafood. The fillet. I love this fillet. Really do love this fillet. I got two packets of the fillets to start the diet. And I got beef. And sherlin boneless. And after I got these and doing some research, I realized that the fattier the meat is, the better for you on the diet. I was looking for purely clean cut diets without a lot of fats like here. But what I should be looking for is meats what, that have a lot of the fats in there. That would be good for me in terms of the weight loss. So I got three packages of beef. And... You know, red meat is not good for you to consume a lot of red meat. So I think I'm going to limit my red meat consumption like for two per week. Then, because I'll be just be eating meat, I also invested in some seasoning because I love when my meat are well seasoned. So <clears throat> I have some all-purpose already, you know, but I still go and buy another Maggie all-purpose. And I had some Neutrozema and I invested in another another bottle of Neutrozema seeing that I'm going to be eating so much meat and I also invested in these chicken flavored seasoned cubes um, I love these 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 are like all purpose but with some other you know special ingredients to it you know I love these and um, I even invested in the onion garlic cubes as well that you would throw in the pot to season your meat and I invested in some season up for fish. You know, I want to get some, like some freshwater fish and sea fish. You know, but I, I am going to be buying my meats weekly. So that would be good for it. I even invested in some jerk seasoning. You know, because I will be doing jerk chicken. And I even invested in a bigger bottle jerk seasoning. And this is hot and spicy. You know, so we can try even jerk chicken. I don't want to just do one type of chicken <coughs> or meat. Change it up a little. Even invested in, um, this is a new pepper that I saw Maggie come out with. And I'm going to try it. I should say I tried just a little tops. But now that I'm going into just meat, I think I'm going, going to eat more. Yeah, and the diet requires only meats and fats right protein and fats and uh, i bought some coconut milk as well 
just to try some variety in cooking my meats i love when i when coconut milk when i use the fillets and i cook it down in coconut milk it tastes really good and then i invested in some tin stuff i try not to go too much in the tin because i just want it to be pasteurized meat other than the tin that has some artificial oil into it and so forth but if it is that i should get hungry this is something that is quick that i can run to so i got um i got tin sausage half dozen tin sausage six tin sausage and tuna i got eight tuna love tuna you know i'll eat it just as it is and i invested also in some sardines so I bought um, four sardines here and I also invested in some luncheon I normally fry these and eat it with my eggs um, it would be a quick you know a good quicker upper if it is that I'm hungry you know and can do as lunch as well so I bought two of these and these are so expensive guys like $500 for one tin of this you know yeah so what else am I leaving out okay um i am naturally a juice person people i naturally love juice and last week i did natural juice and i realized that juice can be drunk without any artificial flavor in our any sugar anything like that just the natural vegetable and fruits and i loved it but i will not be doing no form of juicing only water and that will be hard for me so i have some lime juice left back um from last month so i got another bottle of lime juice and what i'll be doing is adding just a little tubs to my water to give it just a little kick so i can enjoy drinking all of that water during the course of the day because i can't be using any form of fruits any kind of vegetable not no artificial flavor nothing at all than just water and i also bought a ketchup and this will help in terms of flavoring my stuff and I can even turn this into a barbecue sauce. I didn't get any barbecue sauce, but there are ways that you could turn the ketchup into a barbecue sauce. And yeah, and guys, this is my week two. So this is week two of the carnivore diet. And this is my starter kit. This is my starter kit. Yeah.